Moses' story is a monumental story that greatly impacts the Israelites' exodus from Egypt, their walk with God, and their entry into the Promised Land. Hello there and welcome to Insights with Joan. I know this channel is all about reviewing books, movies and documentaries, but today I'm extremely excited to review a documentary. I've reviewed a couple of movies, you can check them out. I've reviewed a couple of books as well, but today we're going to review a documentary. And the documentary is none other than the story of Moses. Now, let's take you back to the story of Moses. The Israelites were slaves in Egypt. And as the Israelites kept working for the Egyptians, they became more numerous. They had many male sons. And Pharaoh decided that any male son who was born had to be killed. But Moses' mother had him and sent his sister to the river to put him there. And while the sister was at the river, Pharaoh's daughter found him in the river as her own son and raised him up. So that was how Moses was saved from being killed with other children born during his time. And Moses grew up as an Egyptian prince. So this story evolves and shows how Moses grew up in the palace, what happened when he left the palace, his journey after he left the palace, how he encountered God, how he came back to Egypt and demanded for the release of the Israelites um, as demanded by God. And it talks up, it shows the 10 plagues, the different 10 plagues. It shows how his interaction with Pharaoh, his back and forth, his reunion with his biological mother, his reunion with his brother, his reunion with his sister, how difficult it was for him to manage the Israelites after Pharaoh finally decided to release them from Egypt. And their journey throughout the desert, God giving him the Ten Commandments. I mean, the list goes on and on and on. So the story is basically a recap of Moses' life. And every single thing there, his history, his family, his difficulties. And one thing that I particularly like about this documentary is because it shows us certain things in the book that you don't find in the Bible. You know, the Bible is a summary of so many events. And personally, I've read the story of Moses countless times, but... One thing I didn't know when I read it was that Pharaoh's sister who picked up Moses at the time had just lost a child. So Pharaoh himself didn't know that Moses was, was an Israelite or a Hebrew, so to speak. He didn't know. And, and there are many things about the story. We saw how the princess followed him when he was going out of Egypt and everything that evolved throughout the story. There are so many scenes I like in this movie, but I feel like overall it's an outstanding take on the story of Moses. It does not only give us visuals into the 10 plagues equally shows us all the miracles God, God produced and one thing that fascinated me was when they were talking about the pillar of cloud by day and the pillar of fire by night I didn't imagine it the way I saw it I feel like that was amazing to watch and when you talk about the red sea splitting and the walls going up and then walking through it's I mean it's a fast it's fascinating to watch it once you've read it like if you've read about the story of Moses and all the miracles he performed and you watch the documentary it makes so much sense I loved it and I love the execution of the characters and the narrators the narrator did a brilliant job and equally the other specialists who came in as religious specialists to better give us more information into Moses as a person his background and some few things about his life that weren't found in the Bible. That was just so, I loved it. It made me see the book of Exodus and just Moses' story in a completely different light. Well, in terms of the characters, I feel like all the characters did an outstanding job. Avi Azule played the character of Moses in the film and he really embodied the character. He, You could see him struggling with the king. You could see him um, trying to bursting out in anger often trying to lead the people his frustrations and everything and Mehmet Kotorus played Pharaoh and you could really see like the stubbornness and the arrogance and the pride in him Dominique Tipa played Zipporah and Zipporah was Moses's wife and she too did a brilliant job I don't have a lot to say about her character but yeah I loved her and I love the fact that she was darker skinned Baron Agjepom acted as Jethro and he too did an outstanding job and you had Aaron, the characters really came to life in the documentary. Maybe I better appreciate it because I've read the story of Moses and I recently just read um, Exodus, Numbers, Deuteronomy and all of that. So I got a better understanding of everything. Maybe that's why, but apart from that, I feel like even if you've never read the Bible for yourself, 
you can definitely understand explanations all the experts are giving through the documentary and it's going to give you a better insight if you go back to read it i think that this documentary just brought back our childhood and brought, brought back my childhood i remember while i was in sunday school the sunday school stories about moses the ten plagues all the miracles and all whatnot it was it was outstanding personally i enjoyed it it brought back so many fun memories it made my reading of the bible more exciting what i hope is that they do most of the many of such documentaries with different stories of the bible because the bible is a huge book and it's really complicated and i feel like if some of these stories are broken down into documentaries we can have more insight into who the characters were why things happened the way they happened because sometimes we tend to just have a superficial a superficial view based on the summary of text in the bible that we read but documentaries really give us a broader outlook at at the different stories in the bible i would definitely love to watch different documentaries about different prominent figures in the bible and even don't forget to share your thoughts in the comment section and until next time i want you to read explore and have fun